Guys, welcome to today's episode of Poker Cheese. So, Ultra Necrozma decks, Malamar decks, we've all seen them. So what we need for this deck, Ultra Necrozma, Malamar, and Giratina. Looking at the card right now, Ultra Necrozma GX has a 2 energy cost attack. So what does it do? 20 damage for 1 Psychic Energy, 1 Metal Energy. You discard all Psychic Energies from the Pokemon, and you do plus 80 damage for each Psychic Energy you discarded this way. So... This is perfect because if we have three psychic energies on it, we do three times 80 is 240, plus 20 is 260. 260 pretty much knocks out everything major, except a few tag teams. So what do we do to get rid of those tag teams with three psychic energy? Well, we either got a beast energy, which is great, or we've used Giratina, which has a great passive. So what does Giratina's passive do? Alright, so looking at it here, we've got Distortion Door. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto the bench. And if you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is really good for setting up things like uh, Snorlax and Eevee Tag Team GXs or Reshiram and Charizard Tag Team GX who has 270 HP. They go down to 260. We use only three Psychic Energy on our Ultra Necrozma. We knock him out. Perfect. So when we're switching, we need to get more Psychic Energies. So that means we use Malamar. It's really popular, made so many decks just because of this card. Psychic Recharge basically lets you attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile onto one of your bench Pokemon. That means our Ultra Necrozma, or Giratina in some cases, needs to be on the bench to actually accelerate the energy onto. So what are we putting in the active? Most likely, Jirachi. We all know he's a bit expensive to get by trades. But if you do, pretty much he lets you look at the top 7 cards of your deck and you take a trainer card, I think it's 7 cards, you take a trainer card that you find there and you put it into your hand. It's great to be in the active when you're accelerating, but you don't need to do this all the time. So these are the 3 main cards in the deck, guys. We're going to play 5 games with this deck. This deck was a deck suggestion by God of Nothing, so thank you so much God of Nothing for this deck suggestion and the deck list. Guys, if you want to take a look, I'm going to put a screenshot of the deck list so that you guys can look at it right now. Pause if you want to get a more in-depth look. And the deck list, if you want to import it into your own game, will be in the description below. So we're going to play five games in a row, uninterrupted pretty much, and we will see how it ranks. So if we lose or not, see if what we can do for you God of Nothing. Hopefully we can make as minimal misplays and get victories as many as we can guys if i make plenty of misplays let me know in the comments below uh, it's best to see from a third third party perspective someone who's not really playing the game in the moment so guys if you guys do enjoy this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe it really motivates me to make more videos and if you've got more deck suggestions please let me know in the comments below up next will be faiza's galissapod so let's get straight into game number one all right, everyone, so we're heading into game one, and these games will be played from game one to game five in order. We're going to try to do our best to win. Obviously, we don't know how we're going to do. I'm not going to ruin results because I don't know myself. So, game one looks like, okay, we've got a Celebi and Venusaur deck box. Doesn't mean we're ever against them. I didn't see the typing at the beginning when I was introducing, but starting with Jirachi is great, and the Inke set up on the board. We do have Lily, we do have Cherished Bull and Mysterious Treasure, so we can get our hand down quite low. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to get the Giratina, because we got the Beast Energy already on the back line. We're going to discard the Psychic Energy, because that helps get ready for Malamar's Acceleration. We'll get the Ultra Necrozma, so that we can attach the Beast Energy. And we will go for... The, we could have also went for the Cherish Ball. That might have been a mistake. We might get the second... Okay, so we'll probably aim to be rotating with Ultra Necrozmas. So the plan here will be... If I can just first Lily. The plan here is to get Metal Energy or Beast Energy onto both of them. And then while we're swapping, we want to be able to manually attach a Psychic Energy to the Ultra Necrozma. That's in the active. And then with retreat board when we retreat we only require to discard the psychic energy and then we'll be able to keep cycling through the ultra necrosmas quite well so another jirachi is not bad and we'll keep that at a maximum escape board is perfect for jirachi we'll get down the viridian forest and accelerate some more psychic energies into the discard pile having that manual attachment is very great hopefully we can find another way to get another pokemon into our hand okay so switch can help us attack right next turn looking at the cottony if he can he can't evolve next turn 
and he's only going to draw a card, so we would be able to actually grab the switch and take a knockout. Uh, we could take Mysterious Treasure and then use... Uh, sorry, Mysterious Treasure would just allow us to actually get the uh, Malamar for accelerating, but we are okay with where we are now. We don't need to retreat, we're not in danger, so we'll just stay in the active. Okay, so far so good. We don't have a stadium, I believe, in this deck. Correct me if I'm wrong, God or nothing. I can't remember a... Sp uh, what is that? What is that called? What is that stadium card called that turns off everything? It's out of my mind. But anyway, you get what I mean. I think it's Power Plant. Power Plant. Whoa. Okay. We're serious, guys. We just discarded the Whimsicott GX. And we're Weldering. Is there something that I'm missing? Has he just lost the game? Guys, I apologize, but looks like game one is gonna be easy. We're not gonna do anything, we're just gonna go with the attack. Alright, well I guess that is a GG. We'll take it. We'll take it. Alright. <laughs> All that in-depth thinking. On to game two. Alright guys, I actually had a intermittent game that was sort of glitchy. My client bugged out. Like, sort of like this. Nothing happened. Okay, yeah, nothing happened, but I think it resulted in the loss because I tried to, like, exit. So hopefully, he'll load in. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully he loads in, because uh, then I'll be forced to exit again. Guys, let me know, is this something that you guys have also encountered? And what did you do about it, or do you know why it happens? Is my computer not up for the job? Hmm, alright. I think we'll have to pass on game two, but we won't count it. We won't count it. Alright. On to the next game. Alright, so restart. Can we load in is the question. Yes. Yes, we can. Alright, the official game two, guys. Lost the flip, that's not good. Looks like this guy likes lightning. Lightning box, lightning sunnies. He's set. Alright, good, he chose. I was getting a bit worried there. Lily, Mysterious Treasure. It would have been good if we had a basic, but Mulligan. We're okay with that. Hopefully we don't Mulligan more than once. Is it a Picaram deck? Come on, guys. What else is it going to be, am I right? But you never know. It could be something funky. Here we see the Choo Choo Train. Should we call it Jirachi, Choo Choo, or Picaron? Let's see what's up. Well, starting with the Inke is not that bad. Would be nice to have a draw card in our hand. Take a good look of that mulligan. Pidgey! Okay, none of the above. <laughs> I would not expect the Pidgey. Lysia. Wow, Prism Star, Heat Factory, Thunder Mountain. Whoa. Okay. What are we versing? Heat Factory, here we go. Well, we, we definitely can't benefit from that, can we? Okay. Wow. I think that's a lot of mysterious treasure. Definitely. Alright, let, let's go with the Ultra Necrozma. Now I'm thinking, we can get the Malamar in our hand, but we can do that next turn anyway. Might as well put this onto Ultra Necrozma, but how can we benefit from a Swap Evolve? So we can use the Switch, but we want to get that Psychic Energy onto this Ultra Necrozma. So, I guess we'll discard the Spell Tag.
we might just have to get another Inke onto the bench and then switch next turn when we get that Psychic Energy from evolving this benched Inke into a Malamar. Or we could have just evolved the Inke into Malamar next turn and then used the switch. But anyway, the more Inke is the merrier. So even if he evolves this thing into a Pidgeotto, I think Pidgeotto has 60 HP. So as long as it doesn't have more than 80 HP, anyway we do 100 damage. So we'll be able to knock it out. I expect that he'll just evolve him. I don't expect the switch. You never know though. Here comes Volkner. You know what I've never seen? A Pidgeot. Never in my days. Will be great to have a reset stamp. Well, so far, no sign of any electric, sorry, lightning GX Pokemon. Pikachu, let's take a good look at this card. Who plays Pikachu these days? Flip a coin until you get Tails. For each draw, oh, for each heads, draw a card. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is better than I would have done. Would have been Tails from the get go. Alright, so he definitely wants Pidgey on the bench. Might as well discard this. Why not? We'll grab that Malamar, but we are we are missing cards. We better hope for a good prize card. Doesn't really matter where we put it. Oh, almost misclicked. All right, let's take a prize card because we are empty-handed. Alright, that's not bad. We get rid of the Heat Factory, we can grab ourselves Psychic Energy. He doesn't have anything over 100 HP. Alright, that's good. We can knock out this Pidgeotto. Definitely not a meta deck. I mean, I haven't seen this deck before. Koga's Trap. That might ruin us. I wonder if we still discard if we fail the attack. Any benched Pokemon? Oh my goodness, if we flip heads, uh, the game ends here. Oh, Lily, that is nice. Okay, nice top deck. We even have something to swap into. We can swap into a Jirachi. Should we attach this spell count? No, no, no. Viridian Forest, of course. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Viridian Forest, get rid of the spell tag. Grab ourselves that sweet psychic energy. Attach it here. Grab a custom catcher. Alright, so we got a switch. But do we use it? That's a question. Do we base it of our heads? Or do we switch to Jirachi and hope that we get another switch? We only have one more, I believe. So that wouldn't be too good. All right, because we're on a show, we got to risk it to get the biscuit. All right, flip heads, game over. <laughs> okay, probably could have done some fancy Jirachi play, but yeah, I'm a coin flip man. All right, game two, the official game two is a victory. On to the next game. All right, so far so good with a two out of five victory. Can we push it to five out of five? There's a Keldeo box, guys. This guy will give us some grief without that stadium card that always seems to pop out of my mind. What is it called? Power plant. It's got to be something more, you know, impactful to remember, not just the place you drive by. Sceptile or Skeptile? Guys, how do you pronounce this coin right here? Is that a Sceptile coin or a Skeptile coin? I'm always Sceptical. No, I'm joking. Sceptical. Hey! We won! Nah, we don't count that kind of game. Come on, he just surrendered off the bat. Alright, on to the official game three. Jesus. It's very hard to get a decent five games, isn't it? Alright. Ooh, only four days to get this Lily left. Whew. 
We gotta spend more time playing. Less time editing. Alright, well. Welcome to the official game three, where we keep playing until the person doesn't surrender on turn one. And by the way, let me know how you say it. Is it skeptile or septile? To answer that question, say one, septile, or two, skeptile. Oh, we had a better start, didn't we? With that Jirachi. It's always nice to start with Jirachi. I'm wondering if we should leave this Inke in our hand in case we get like a Bill's analysis. We might be able to, sorry, use Bill's analysis to get a Pokecoms and get a Jirachi. But we've got two mysterious treasures too, so we might as might as well. We are starting first, are we not? So we're not gonna get judged on turn one. Whoa! Almost a mirror. And don't worry about that. Let's just put this guy down. Now let's see what we can get with the bills. A switch, which is nice. And a Cynthia, which we already have. Alright, we'll take it. So we'll put the Inke down. Let's discard a Cynthia. Yes, let's discard a Cynthia and get ourselves one Ultra Necrozma. I think that will be the way, because that guy hits for 160. This guy right here. And we need, with two Psychic Energies, we do how much damage? 180 damage. Okay, we will end the turn there. Unfortunately, we have no energies, nor in the discard pile. All right, a spell tag. Is there anything else? Acrobike, all right. We still got a full turn. Ooh, nice. The psychic energy in the discard pile is great. If he can get a swap, is he gonna show me that Malamar? Or another Inke. Taking a good look through that deck. Something that we should get into a habit of doing. Alright, there he is. Usually I don't do that, because I feel like, oh, he's got a Malama, quick, reset, stamp him. <laughs> Alright, we already discard one Cynthia. Goodness, this is terrible. I would like to switch, but I've got no energy on. Alright, I guess we will remove the custom catcher, because I want to keep this cycling going. Get the Malama. We don't need a switch for any reason. Oh, of course we need a switch. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Let's Cynthia now. That's right. Custom Catcher, Lily. Alright, well. Let's see if we can discard anything. So another Custom Catcher is great. But we do have Switch, which is even better. I think Switch will be better for now. We need two Psychic Energies. Actually, let's, let's, let's take a look at this. If we get a Custom Catcher, we need two Psychic Energies to knock him out. We could just take the Custom Catcher. I mean, why would we want to switch this turn? And there's also no point of using Spell Tag now. So we'll wait. Right, that's always nice. Knocking out that Necrozma might be our best bet with the custom catcher. Two psychic energies, nice, he's almost there. For each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Probably will never end up using that move. Oh nice, Viridian Forest is always appreciated. Okay, so I, we can we can remove that Necrozma now, which is good. So Malamar, we accelerate one Psychic Energy from the discard pile onto Ultra Necrozma. Manually attach the other one. Did I make a mistake there is the question. 
All right, let's see if we can get a switch. For now, goodness me, we could have discarded it as well. Let's take the mysterious treasure. All right, we are in no rush to find our Pokemon. So we'll attach this anyway. Let's do that. Mysterious treasure, remove a lily. Probably be nice to grab another Malamar at this point. And then see what we can Lily. If we get another switch, that'd be preferred, but whatever we get. At least another draw card. Alright, we'll thin, thin out the deck. Ooh. No, we can't get rid of our custom catches. No, we'll go with the Ultra Necrozma. I expect the switch from his point, so we, we might just leave our Jirachi right there. Giratina is nice as well. Could have discarded him next turn, actually. Is that a switch in my hand, guys? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Someone get this guy a doctor. Alright, custom catcher. Alright, we'll take out his attacker. Hopefully a nice prize card. Cynthia, a skateboard. Actually, that's pretty good. We'll definitely take that. With Viridian Forest and a skateboard, we can take our time. But definitely we can get there. So, this guy can leave us confused. That's okay, we're gonna retreat anyway. And, for each of your opponent's best Pokemon, put one damage counter. So, he can do 50 damage, however so, but that won't knock out anything. Unless we remove this Malamar. Hmm, I don't want to get rid of that Psychic Energy. Might as well discard the Viridian Forest. Grab that Psychic Energy. Could have grabbed a Metal Energy. At this point, we might send out the Giratina. Because as soon as we send out this Giratina... Another... wait a second. Another. We'll need a manual attachment next turn for this Giratina. And a skateboard. So we could attack this turn. Yeah, let's let's go with that. At least we don't need to keep retreating between Ultra Necrozmas. Yeah, we'll get rid of that metal energy. And we'll go for the attack and we'll put damage counters on our boardless Ultra Necrozma. So we'll pr probably put it on Jirachi. And then knock out Jirachi. He might put it on the Malamar, that's right. Because he will be able to do 50 damage next turn with Mysterious Dance. But we're still happy with that. With Viridian Forest, we can still find another Metal Energy. And we'll be able to accelerate with Malamar. There you go. So that's game, guys. He's got no bench Pokemon. I think. I can't see behind this card. Okay, yeah. So it takes a prize card, but yes, we win. Don't usually see this card in in these kind of decks. So, alright, we don't need to do anything. Yep. And we'll spread the love. You have a good deck. No, it's not me, my friend. It is God of Nothing. That is his deck. Okay, was that game three? Game three we won, so three out of five. Let's continue on to game four. All right, lads and ladies, game four. We seem to be having the advantage all the time. I don't know if that's because the deck list is amazing or because we're just winning. Let me know. All right, yes, we'd always like to go first. Dragon deck box. What are we against? Actually, really not a bad hand. That is a great hand. Whoa. I'll take it. Whenever I see a Dedenne GX, I'm like, where is that Cofagrigus? Guys, if you haven't watched the video, it was the last one we uploaded. Oof, want to get rid of it as soon as it hits the bench. Ooh, very close. Okay. Spell tag, yes, I know. We have similar decks. All right, how do we do this the best? Does this... No, of course not. Mysterious treasure. 
Do we want to get rid of that Malamar? Ooh, I feel so nasty doing that. I think that's the play. Let's get rid of that Malamar. Adios, amigos. Get another Inke. Skateboard on this one. Get the spell tag right there, and we go with the Danone. Alright, so we lose a Malamar and we lose a Switch. At least we get that Psychic Energy. Need one, at least. Ooh, that is a lot of Malamar. Can we play like this, is the question. Maybe. We'll give it our best shot. We have three, so we're not going to play any more Inke. We only have... <laughs> That's a lot of Inke. Alright. Hmm... Ultra Necrozma, put another spell tag down on anyone that is Psychic. And go with a Lily. Should we go with the Custom Catcher? No, we might need it. There you go. We've always got a chance. Let's discard one Psychic Energy for a Metal. And hopefully it doesn't reset our hand because we really want that. Okay, we like everything here. We can't do anything more with Mysterious Treasure this turn at least, so we'll leave it there. Even if he evolves that Inke into a Malamar, he is kaput. But most likely he'll swap out to this nasty invasion move right here. Free switch by this guy. Great ability right there. Oh, that was a Giratina and Garchomp. Woohoohoo. We need four Psychic Energy. To knock him out just by one point just by one point i don't know if it's worth that kind of investment though it might be but if he can get two psychic energy quick enough which he doesn't have the opportunity to until next turn by evolving this melamar Mm. He might be able to use uh, GG End, which would ruin this Ultra Necrozma. Ooh, that's also nasty. Kogo's Trap seems to be very popular. It's been in the previous three games. I think we've seen it twice. Switch is really good. Okay, that's really good. We'll be able to attack this turn. Mysterious Treasure. Hmm. Is Custom Catcher the play though? Maybe Custom Catcher is the play. Alright, let's get rid of this Psychic Energy. Get another Malamar. So, three of them. None of them are prized. Lucky us. We didn't check that before. We should have. We don't need to use our Switch right now. We can just the retreat, simply. Yeah, that might be... No, let's go with the Bills Analysis first before we retreat. Ooh, that is great. Show play, Matt. Okay, Bills will let us... Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mysterious Treasure gets us another Malamar. I'm worried, though. We don't need this retreat board. We don't need Poker Comms. Alright, we'll, we'll discard the Poker Comms. I think that's the play. Because I want to keep the custom catcher and the Cynthia. Alright, here we go. Discard Pokecoms. Get another Malamar. We're getting there. Okay, we can attach another one. Psychic Energy. With three, it's not enough. Ooh, okay, do we want to... But with two, we can knock out Ultra Necrozma. Sorry, sorry, that's not an Ultra Necrozma. Alright, but you do get my point. Maybe we'll just simply go with the knockout. We didn't need to use the switch, we said it. But okay, we'll take it. Hmm, Custom Catcher. No, we gotta save our hand. Actually, with Custom Catcher, he's going to send out anyway the Giratina next turn. There's no way he'll send anything else. So we might get rid of a Custom Catcher. We'll get the Psychic Energy. Whoa, we didn't have an option for anything else. 
Okay. So we'll we might use this for a single draw. Nah, I'd be too I'd be too greedy for that. All right, photon geyser. Here we go. Let's get some two good prize cards. Lily is not too useful right now, and another Lily is also uh, increasing the unusefulness of Lily right now. Is that a Gibble? That is a Gibble. That is a Gibble right there. Okay. Alright, no acceleration yet. Alright, there he goes. He's got the acceleration. One Psychic Energy, we've knocked out this Malamar. He needs to do a switch now, this turn. Why with the extra fighting energy? Is that for this Gibble? Or is he going to go for the extra effect in GG end? Because he needs, what, 4 fighting energy in total to discard 2 Pokemon? I really don't think that this GX moves plus effect is worth the uh, cost. Especially if he's going to put so many fighting energy on the field. It's going to slow down his acceleration with Malamar. Okay, maybe he is going that direction. Okay. I actually can't believe that we don't have any metal energy. My god, we do not. Okay. So question, we will kill this one here. We will accelerate these psychic energies to... That is incredible. That means... Alright, beast energy we can't find, which is fair enough. Oh, with uh, Viridian Forest. But uh, that must mean that two metal energies are prized. So hopefully we can pull one of them when we knock out Malamar. Or we get a beast energy, which I haven't checked if it's in the deck. Either way, if it's also in the prize cards, we have a 3 out of 4 chance of pulling the energy we need to actually use this Ultra Necrozma. Okay. I might leave this Mysterious Treasure for this turn. We, we are not that much in a rush. We need 4 energy, actually. 4 Psychics to discard that guy there. So, in that case, I might actually remove Pokecoms and draw... The Malamar so that I can get that four psychic energies. If we end up getting a beast energy or a psych sorry, a metal energy, we'll be able to knock out the Giratina and Garch from Tag Team GX. Well hope you know he could also use um He could use GG the end next turn. Which is also a huge problem for us. But with three Malamars, we can get those energies back, so it's not that much of a big deal for us. My goodness, guys, can we get Psychic Energies or what? Whew. That is a problem. Did I say Psychic? I meant Metal. We really need a Metal Energy. He's most likely going to GG end that beefed up Ultra Necrozma right now. So, alright, there's that is a problem. We've got Bill's Analysis, though we might be able to find a switch. Alright, so he's going to GG the end the other one. Alright, we, we knew it was going to do that, but really, with all the uh, Malamars on the bench, that doesn't affect us. Alright, Cherish Ball, let's see what we can pull out. Nothing. Yeah, of course, that makes sense, because we've only got, in GX, two Ultra Necrozmas and a Dedene. In this case... In this case, we need something to accelerate to. We, we really need a switch as well. Okay, we're going to look for it. We're going to use Bills. Escape Ball, it's good. Actually, a skateboard's really good. We have no Pokemon in hand, so... I think Cynthia is good for next turn. Yeah, this is very good. Alright, we'll skateboard him to keep our Metal Energy. We'll discard one Viridian Forest so that we can get that last Psychic Energy. I should have checked for that... For that Beast Energy again. So we'll discard this Psychic Energy. And, you know what? The Dene is probably the best option. We'll retreat to Dedene, throw away one Psychic Energy, and then beef up our Ultra Necrozma. So he's got no... Uh, what do you say? How do you call that? GX move anymore, which is good. Let's not make mistakes now, shall we? We'll be able to knock out the Giratina and Garchomp GX next turn, just with the with any of the Malamars accelerating an energy, or a manual attachment using Viridian Forest. We've got one Psychic Energy left in our deck. But a manual attachment onto the Dene GX for the retreat is more preferred. So we'll just Malamai accelerate unless he knocks him out. And he does 160 damage, so he will knock him out this turn. 
but so we will put Ultra Necrozma straight out onto the active because Viridian Forest will help us get that last Psychic Energy even without using Cynthia. We only need three to win, so we win next turn if he can't do anything about our Ultra Necrozma, which he can't. Is he going to swap that into the active? That could be smart. If he wants to delay for a little while, he could invade with this Dawnwing's Necrozma. Because if we knock him out, it will bring his tag team back into the active, and then he can knock out our Ultra Necrozma. I wonder if he's going to do that. And because we got the single damage counter, actually he'll be able to knock us out with his uh, Calamitous Smash. Yep, he did it. That was a, that was well played. Alright, so, looking at this, we've got Custom Catchers. Alright, we've got two Custom Catchers. One Custom Catcher is in the discard pile, one is in our hand. We know that two Metal Energy is in our prize cards. So I feel like pushing for the Lily, pushing for the Lily might be the answer. Alright, let's go for that manual attachment. We're going to remove the Viridian Forest, grab that manual attachment, accelerate, accelerate Malamar, yeah, onto Ultra, Ultra Necrozma. And I'm a bit worried about this next play. That's going to be our switch. We need another Custom Catcher right now. Custom Catcher! Huzzah! We don't get anything. Okay. The Dene does no damage at this moment. We don't have any Giratinas. Why did I put the Espa is the question. Okay, so now we're slowed down. Espa, why did I put him down? Alright, let's 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 put Espa into the active and draw a card. We gotta get this uh, custom catcher as soon as possible. Alright, let's retreat. Let's just waste this card because we know we've got no more. Make sure that if he shuffles our deck, we don't pick it up again. Pokecoms, we can Pokecoms. Yep, let's let's grab him out. Even though it's the same amount of cards, Giratina will be more useful in this case. I know Jirachi would be good for looking for the custom catcher, but if he opens up deck space, at least we can get space for another attacker. Okay, let's draw, please. Custom catcher. Okay, a bit unlucky. Custom Catcher wins us the game, guys. We've only got nine cards left. I'm very confused. We might go for the Cynthia, because we know... Okay, next time I really have to actually look if we've got a Beast Energy in here. Two Metal Energies in the prize cards, surely. I know we've got three. So it's whether or not one of the prize cards is a Beast Energy, in this remaining nine cards is another two custom catchers. Possibly only one if it's that in the prize card. Okay, that is great. That is just really great. All right, let's do some overkills now that we can celebrate. Just a little bit of overkill. Let's uh, not make any mistakes, shall we? That would be great. All right, custom catcher, this man here, and let's go for the knockout. Oh, he didn't even let us. He was a bit mad. All right, guys, game four. That's four out of five victories. We have one more game left. Let's see how we go. All right, guys, so on to the final game, and we still keep our advantage. We do have the four-game win streak. So four games, one. On to the last one. Can we make it a five out of five? That'd be great. We lost the flip. I'm pretty sure we started first every single time, so starting second, will that be the difference between winning or losing? I don't think so, but let's see how we go. Four tacos con to do? Don't know if I read that right, but please, my friend, select whether you'll go first or second, because we want to not quit this game. All right, excellent. Two Inkes, not the best, but no Mulligan either. Keep the Pokecoms. 
He has the mulligan, so we still get to decide whether or not we want to put Inke down. Ooh, I really do not like this deck. 270, this person, we, if we could get one damage counter on this solid shell, we need three psychic energies to knock him out instead of four. So either a spell tag or Giratina's passive while Blastoise is on the bench. This Blastoise is so strong. All right, yes, we'd like to draw another card. Beast energy, the guy we couldn't find at all last game. All right. Ooh. I might want a Jirachi instead. I'm a bit afraid if he's going to reset snap me. But then again, it might be a better hand than this. All right, we'll keep it. Whoa, it's a Snorlax. A Snorvi. An Evelax. An Everlax. I don't know. Cryogonal. Okay. Squirtle. This is a unique deck. All right, let's uh, see. Is he going to attach to himself? Oh, well, we're going to see that next game. Copycat, so at least it's not a judge. Ooh, that's a nice Pokenav. God of nothing, we got to win this game for you, buddy. So that we can get a 5 out of 5 win streak. I've heard something about this card, right? Your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during their next turn. Might be something. Ooh, crushing, crushing. Let's build analysis. Definitely want a Cynthia next turn. We'll get a mysterious treasure. I really think I want a Jirachi. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a Jirachi. Yep, and because we've got so many switches and a beast energy, I feel like I want to get rid of Pokecoms at this point. And get a Ultra Necrozma. Manual attachment with the beast energy, switch into Jirachi, Viridian Forest. Whoa. Wait a second, we'll Stella Wish. Actually, you know what? Goodness me. It's so hard to decide. Because what to discard next? Uh, we don't want to discard the switch if we use Mysterious Treasure. We don't want to discard Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest, we need to activate to start getting those Psychic Energies into the discard pile. So I feel like I'm going to take Custom Catcher. Please don't hate me if I'm <laughs> making the wrong move. And actually, we will discard the Custom Catcher. That's my thinking. Discard the Custom Catcher, get the Psychic Energy. Get it ready for discarding the next turn. We need 4 Psychic Energy to knock out this Eevee and Snorlax. Which is a shame. Just by 1 damage. Oh no, sorry, we got Beast Energy! Okay, that's great, we got Beast Energy. That increases damage by 30. So we need 3 Psychic Energy. Got none on the discard pile, but we can use Viridian Forest. Okay, we can use Viridian Forest. We don't want to switch. We want to leave Jirachi there for a while. Okay, so he wants to start item locking us. Pretty decent card. Okay, so we can't use item cards. Almost did the wrong one. Okay, we'll Cynthia now. We can't use the switch anyway. Can't use the poker comms, can't use the escape board. Really want to discard this guy to get that 10 damage off. But, we've got... Hmm. Alright, let's grab the Stellar Wish. Looking at our hand can't use any of these anyway. We can't use item cards, but we can use stadium cards. We can use supporter cards. Hmm. To get past this dilemma, we're going to have to uh, manually retreat next turn. All 
Okay. I might actually... No, we might discard him next turn. Because we want to get one damage counter on that Squirtle and that Snorlax, just in case they manage to knock out our Ultra Necrozma. Because this Ultra Necrozma has the Beast energy, the next one won't have it if we need to use that instead to knock out those two Pokemon. So discarding Giratina and getting those two damage counters will be critical so that we can knock out with three Psychic Energy instead of four. I believe that's the calculation. So we're going to knock out this Cryogonal next turn. We're going to manually retreat so that we can hit him for 130 damage with Ultra Necrozma. Just looking at what we discarded. What was that? Crash Awake? Okay, that's gonna be strong. Any two cards from the deck, hey? Rare Candy is great. Okay, it's not the last choice I was thinking of, but that's the, that's very good. Okay, so that's gonna be the Blastoise we <laughs> that we attach the the damage counter to. Wow. Okay, we've got a turn, guys. We've got a turn. All right, we'll take a prize card this turn. We've got one Psychic Energy in the discard pile. It might be no, no, no. We're gonna get this Giratina in the discard pile. Yeah, I think that was the move. We're going to manually retreat this guy, so we're not going to look for an item card. I'm going to put him back onto the bench. Yes, th these are the two damage counters we need. For our next Giratina. Alright, looking at this hand. Skateboard is really useful, so is Cherish Ball and Poker Comms. So I think I'm not going to use Cynthia. Hopefully, he doesn't manage to attach uh, three energies next turn. He will be able to attach one more. And if he gets two with Blastoise, then he's going to knock us out with this uh, Megaton Friends, which will be a shame. Alright, at least we're not item locked. What can you give us today? Spell tag. We'll put it on Giratina. All right, he's uh, he's ready. He's ready for that Megaton, friends. We're also ready though with those ten damage counters. Ooh, how many is that gonna do? Three. All right, let's see your luck. All right, at least one. Okay, so you won't be able to attack this turn. How many? We have two, I believe. No, three. That's very good. We need to start getting the Santa Labs. I believe that was a that was a good play, especially since we got Spell Tag. But it won't affect us too much. We'll try to get another one. Okay. So now that it's our turn, we have a switch. So we got two switches left in the deck, maybe in the prize cards. I'm wondering who to put the escape board onto. Okay, let's think about this well. Let's put it on him for the retreat. We will manually retreat this turn. Yeah, I think that's the play. We want to keep this one safe. Cherish Ball for another one. And then, oh, we don't. The Dene is in the prize cards. Poker comms this Ultra Necrozma into a Malamar. Spell tag onto Giratina. I know it doesn't work. Manually retreat, right? We'll wait. We'll wait for a Cynthia to decide whether or not we can get rid of Lysander Labs. Alright, not today. 
So we will manually retreat into Giratina. I was hoping for another Inkey. Probably should have retreated into the Jirachi instead. I think that was a slight misplay. Two Blastoise. Okay! Another trick. Alright, so once he gets set up, we're in a bit of a pickle. Good enough. If he attaches one more energy, he'll be able to draw till he has 10 cards. Okay, maybe we'll rely on Powerful Squall for that. Okay, he wanted to take that lead straight away. We'll put Jirachi out, that was who we should have swapped to originally. But at least we can put the damage counter on the remaining one. Alright, let's first see what we can get with Stellar Wish. Switch is good. We'll take that. Let's see if we can get a Viridian Forest with Bill's Analysis. No, we cannot. Alright, Distortion Door. Spell Tag onto Giratina, even though it doesn't work. We're in quite a bit of pickle until we get that Metal Energy. We can stall for another turn since he used Megaton Friends. By switching out into Giratina. Okay. Whew, this game. If we get a Metal Energy, we knock out Eevee and Snorlax. Draw three prize cards. We're possibly in the game. We've got a Malamite in hand, so it'd be good to get another Inkei. There's the rare candy. I don't think he'll be retreating. And it'll be the same for us to either take out the Snorlax or the Eevee. We have to pretty much take out both of them to win this game. We need only three Psychic Energies to kill this one. Alright, good. So we, we bought ourselves a turn. There's the Metal Energy. So we can start accelerating onto the other Ultra Necrozma. So at this point, we don't have another switch. We have one more, but can we draw it is the question. I sort of don't want to put this Esper down, but I will for the Lily draw. We're anyway going to lose this Giratina. Can we get a Viridian Forest? There's nothing else to get rid of. I'll just get rid of the actual card itself. Doesn't matter. Even if we don't draw another energy card, I want to keep everything that's in my hand. Except for this Giratina. Go away. Excellent. Alright. We'll stay right there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I thought so. I thought he was going to get rid of it. Should have probably kept it for one more turn, but... Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect us, we got our damage counters down already. The ones that actually make a difference. So he's on 5 now, he takes down Ultra Necrozma next turn. He'll be on 2, and we'll be on 2. So it's gonna be up to how many energies we can accelerate onto this Ultra Necrozma. We need one more. We got one Psychic Energy in our hand. So I think that's game. I think we win the prize card race.
Yeah, that that's game, guys. Because we only we set up that Blastoise GX in the back with one damage counter, so we need only three psychic energies to knock him out. Okay, unless he resets our hand and we don't get a psychic energy, we might be forced to put Jirachi out. But we'll see. So far, it looks good. Unless he custom catches. Mm. But we can still set up to our Ultra Necrozma for the following turn. It's looking good. It's looking good. We might take home. For God of Nothing, my friend, we might take at home a 5 out of 5. It's been funny, I think these uh, games have gotten more and more intense as we've played them. The first one was very lackluster, and we got some surrenders in. But uh, towards the end, the games have gotten quite interesting. I'm gonna say, I don't know if he's gonna retreat now. If he doesn't retreat, that's game. So we'll see what he does. I'm pretty sure he's going, going to just discard the energies off the Lapras and knock out our Ultra Necrozma and then we win. What will you do, my friend? Alright, Rocket Splash. Alright, so that's game. Excellent. If I haven't miscalculated, because he's got 240 plus 30 from his passive, so that's 270. Minus 10 because of the damage counter that we planned long time ago. 260. Three psychic energies discarded means three times a 240 plus the 20 is 260. So that should be it. Alright guys, based on my recalculation a million times, that's all I'm going to do. So let's see if I was correct. Excellent! Alright guys, that was it. That was all five games and they were all victories. I hope you enjoyed them. God of Nothing, great deck suggestion. Guys, if you guys have any d deck suggestions, anyone is free to let me know in the comments below. And we can take a look at them in the future episode. The next one will be the Glissopod deck suggested by Faiz. So we're going to get straight into that. Perfect. We lose our connection on a great time. Who needs to play more? We won all five. 100% win rate. So great deck by God of Nothing. And till next time, don't forget, if you guys liked it, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about it. If there was misplays, let me know. Of course, there are plenty of misplays. And uh, no one's perfect, but especially not me <laughs> by far. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, supports me really much. Make sure to subscribe. And till next time, poker cheese.